Welcome, everyone. Brad Nessler here for EA Sports with my co-host, Kirk Herbstreet, and the coach, Lee Corso. The crowd is filling up the dome, and we're just about ready for the Nebraska Cornhuskers and the Northwestern Wildcats. One of my favorite times in all of sports, the College Bowl season. I can't wait for this one to kick off. And here come the Wildcats. I'll tell you, this one can go either way. Kirk, what do you think will happen today? Northwestern knows exactly what they need to do to win this football game, and that's to throw the football. Their quarterback is going to have to step up and make some big plays. And Lee, I think he'll do it. I think they're going to win. <laughs> I got to disagree with you here. I can't go against the basket in this one. is lined up for the opening kickoff, so here we go. He kicks it off. Malone takes it at the eight. So now we'll get to see the offense come out of the field for their first drive of this game. Today we get to see how well this quarterback can handle his offense against this very good secondary. There's no doubt that how this quarterback plays will determine the outcome of the game. And I'll tell you, Coach, I think he's going to have a pretty hard time getting the ball to his receiver. A hard time getting the ball to his receivers? <laughs> Kirk, forget about it. This quarterback is very talented, and he'll make big plays today. You mark my words. Well, I guess we'll find out now, won't we? Oh, we will. Second so it's second 12. and 12. Ball, ball, ball on the 25-yard line. Heron back to throw. Throws this one out to the left. Complete. And he's shoved out of bounds at the 28. A pickup of about three. Third, Third down, down, nine to go. Heron is back in the gun. Heron steps back to pass. Throws it out there. He's tackled at the 35-yard line. That completion was almost enough for the yeah, first. Yeah, yeah, that's going to make the coach mad because that kid should have known where the first down marker was. Fourth and two. They line up to punt this one away. Craig back deep to return. He punts it. Craig takes it at the 23. The defense did its job to open the game, and now it's the offense's turn. They'll start this drive at the 25-yard line. The Husker set up in the gun. He's looking for his man, catches it. And they make the stop at the 45-yard line. I'd like to say one thing. The reason they were able to get something out of this play is the fact that the quarterback had time to get rid of the football. Good job up front by the offensive line, and don't forget the nice play by the running back first as well. Ten. We've Ball got a first and 10. Yard Ball on the 45-yard line. The defense lines up with five defensive backs. Look at the throw. Toss is short. It's complete. Morris with the tackle at the 50. And they get five yards from that completion. Second it's second down and five to go. Ball, ball, ball right around midfield. Bridge lines up in the shotgun. Bridge makes a handoff. They'll make the sack. We've got a 
third and six. Ball on the 49-yard line. Hands it off. Tackle made at the 49. He may have gotten back to the line of scrimmage. Looks like they're going to punt it away here. Ball on the 49-yard line. Barry is waiting for the snap. Hangs it up high. Number 24 fields it for 17. The defense did a nice job of shutting down this offense the last time they had the ball. The offense was not clicking at all. Let's see if they're back on the same page. They'll get the ball here at the 18-yard line. Malone, alone in the backfield. They'll throw on first down, and it's the senior. They'll bring him down at the 30. This is a simple case of finding the hole in the zone. The quarterback did a good job of recognizing the coverage and then found his man. Yep, give the receiver some credit, too. He got open, then made a nice catch for the first down. First down. The Wildcats come out showing three wide. Heron to the air on first down. He snags it, and he's tackled right away. I'll tell you, this receiver showed really good hands on that play. This kid is always calling for the ball, and if he keeps making plays like that, he'll continue to get the ball. First and 10. Ball on the 43. First and 10. The Wildcats set up in the gun. Fires it quickly. Gracie brings him down at the 44. They completed it, but for a minimal gain. It's not much, but at least it's positive yards. From their own 44-yard line. Ball on the 44 Second and nine. Heron comes to the line with three wide. Heron hands off to the left. A little shake and bake move. Bounces off the would-be tackler. How about that run by this halfback? You know what? When this offense can run the ball like this, watch out. They can score quickly. Watch out is right, because now you got to worry about the run and the pass on defense. From the 44-yard line, first down. Northwestern comes out in the shotgun. They'll throw on first down. He lets it go. Complete to the true freshman. Carter with a takedown at the 34. Nice little pitch and catch with a wideout. Uh, quarterback and receiver spend a lot of time together. The coaches say they stay after practice, just working on their timing, and right there it paid off. Second, Second and inches. Ball on the 34-yard line. line. They line up in the shotgun. Malone gets the call again, and they make the stop at the 33-yard line. And the tailback picks up the first down. First down. The Wildcats have three receivers bunched. Looks to pass. He throws it. He has them on the fly. That pass was humming, and it'll be six. You gotta be kidding me. How do you do that? What composure? They're setting up for the PAT. And he adds the extra point. So we take a moment to check out the Pontiac drive summary.
Doolin is lined up to kick this one off. Decent kick. Craig fields it at the three. He jukes. So the offense takes over. They're just trying to figure out this defense. But the last time they had the ball. This drive will start at the 44. yard line. First and ten. The Cornhuskers come out of the H formation. Patterson on the inside handoff. And he's tackled at the 46-yard line. Patterson gains about two yards on the run. That'll make it second down. Second it's second down and eight. Ball on the 46-yard line. The defense lines up in a dime. Bridge drops back. He throws it. Catches it. Didn't get anything. Third it's third eight. down and eight to go. On the 46 yard line. Bridge has four receivers lined up here. He tackles him for a loss. That's going to bring up fourth down. Just a great job by the defense. These guys are disguising their defense so well that they're confusing the quarterback and the offensive line. Fourth and ten. Nebraska ready to put this one away. Mary awaits the snap. He punts it. Number 24 takes it to 15. Well, the offense is back on the field again. In their last drive, they moved the ball very well, especially through the air on their way to that touchdown. From their own 21-yard line, it's first down. The Wildcats come out in the shotgun with a quick throw. Complete. Taken back three yards. Second, Second and 13. and 13, ball on the 18-yard line. The Huskers bring in the nickel package. Malone off the right side. He's tackled at the 23-yard line. They gained five yards there. From their own 23-yard line. Third down, eight yards to go. And on third and long, watch out. This quarterback's looking to keep the drive alive. Heron drops to throw, steps up in the pocket. The senior makes the catch. Mill brings him down at the 41. That's how you convert third down, sweetheart. That was a good looking play, wasn't the coach? Oh yeah, this offensive coordinator must have seen something in the defense he really liked. First down, 10 to go. There was some movement on the line. Dead ball. What start on the offense? Five yard penalty. Still first Well, down. that will move them back five yards. Yep. It's not going to make life any easier on this offense. First, first and 15, 15 now. Ball on the 36 yard line. Handoff up the middle. He jukes him at the 40, to the 20, to the 10, and he's in there. Touchdown. Nice ball, nice blocking, and an even better run. Those guys up front must have been hitting those sleds pretty hard in practice. The only reason this kid was able to show his good playability was because the offensive linemen executed their assignments to perfection. They line up for the extra point. Yeah. Ah. 
and he hits the PAT. Better than eight minutes remain in the first quarter, and the score, Northwestern 14, Nebraska nothing. Western is, is lining up to kick this one off. Craig and Williams back deep to return. He kicks it off. Craig fields at the goal line. Not a whole lot of success the this time out. Not at all. This offense has to do a better job of staying on the field and giving their defense a chance to catch their breath. They'll set up shot at the 23 yard line. At the 23 yard line. First and 10. Nebraska sets up in the eye. Patterson on a counter, and he puts it on the turf. And he gets pepper. They turn the ball over to the defense with that fumble, and the head coach has got to be upset with his halfback after that one. Any coach would be upset after his running back fumbles. The first thing a running back learns is how to grip and secure the football. Well, hopefully he shakes it off and forgets about it. There's nothing he can do now. Aaron with the give. Tackle at the 22. Two yard carry by the fullback. They line up at the 22. Ball on the 22 Second down. Heron is back in the gun. Here's a counter play. Malone loses it. Scoops up the loose ball. And he's tackled at the 33. And they couldn't have asked for a better time for the turnover, right, Herbie? Well, I'm sure they could have used a couple of these earlier in the game, but better late than never. They'll take over the 33-yard yard line. First and 10. Yeah. Second down. Yeah. First and 10. The Cornhuskers come out showing three wide. Bridge back to throw. He gets the pass away. The defender had it and then dropped it. You got to be careful throwing in the coverage like that. Well, Coach, I don't think it was a poor decision. It was just a great reaction by the man in coverage. That'll bring up second down. Second, second down. down. Ball on the 33-yard line. Patterson lines up as a single back, and it's the senior. And he is drilled at the 50. What did you see there, guys? The defense was in zone coverage. The offense did a good job of protecting the quarterback, and he threw a nice ball to get the first down. And the receiver ran a nice route to get open between the zone first coverage. And 10. Ball first and on ten. The 50 they yard line run. up at the 50. The Huskers come out of the ace formation. Barry tackles him for a loss on the play. The offense couldn't get those linemen blocked, and they'll lose yards. Well, here the defensive lineman did a great job at sealing up the hole at the line of scrimmage. So it's second and 12. Ball on the 48. Patterson is the deep back as they line up in the eye. They go with a toss. Bounces off a would-be tackler. Tackle made at the 49. Patterson gets three yards on the play. Now it's third and nine, nine coming up. Ball, ball on the 49 yard line. Bridge drops back to pass. McCargo knocks it away. And that makes it fourth down. Boy, great defense on that play. They were expecting the pass, and they defended it very well by getting a hand in there to break up the play. Fourth and nine. Nebraska ball ready to put this one away. Line. Griffin, the return man. It's a high kick, and it holds up there. Calls for the fair catch. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. They'll go to work at the 12. The Northwestern Wildcats, the Wildcats take line over up with five receivers. First and 10. 
He drops back. Aaron, unload. Got his running back. Craig with a takedown at the 21-yard line. How about that pass, Kirk? You know, guys, one of the things often overlooked in college football is the relationship between a quarterback and his receiver. Here, you can see that these two are definitely on the same page. They second line up at the one. 21. Ball. Ball. It's second down and one to go. The Wildcats set up in the gun. Aaron drops back. He throws. He snags it. Drop back four yards on that one. Third, Third down, five. five yards to go. Ball on their own 17. The Wildcats come out in a shotgun. King takes it up the middle. And down he goes. 24-yard line, and they keep it on the ground and pick up the first. Good third down conversion right here. Not a real big play, but this gives them a new set of downs to work with. And I wouldn't be surprised if they don't go to the air here and really attack this defense. First and ten. Ball on their own 24. Heron lines up in the shotgun. Feeds it to the back. With the spin. He's taken down at the 28. Malone gains about four yards on the play. That'll bring up second down. Second they line up at the 28. Ball it's second and six. Yard line. The Wildcat with four receivers. Let's it go. Has it to the senior. He's knocked out of bounds at the 43. How about that pass, fellas? Well, oh, Brad, the defense is coming with the blitz, and that opens some room for these guys to get open. Yeah, and if you're coming with the blitz, you better get to this quarterback. Otherwise, he'll make you pay. From their own 43-yard line, first it's first down. down. Yeah. Northwestern comes out in the shotgun. Aaron steps back to pass. He's looking down the middle. Way to look it in. There's a player injured down on the field. I can't see who it is. First, First and ten. ten. Ball on the 46-yard line. Heron is back in the gun. Heron has completed every pass this run. And that one's fallen incomplete. The wide receiver wasn't able to hang on. Well, you talk about a solid hit. This guy is a true enforcer. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 46. Heron has five receivers lined up here. Throws it to the outside. He's tackled at the 34. That was a laser, Kirk. This guy has a huge arm. It's like he's throwing darts, but it's coming at about 86 miles an hour. It's first down. They'll work from the shotgun. Heron with a nice play fake. Heron is going to be sacked for a loss. Second Here's play number ball. 10 on the drive. Ball of the 41 yard line. Northwestern lines up in a shotgun set. Tosses it short. Complete. He's pushed out of bounds at the 26. Looked like the linebackers bit on that play fake. I didn't even know the quarterback had the ball. That's worth a yoke. Third They'll line two. it up again on third down. They come out with three wide receivers. Yeah. Hot, hot. Hot, hot. 
Heron hands it off. Sussman tackles him behind the line for a loss on the play. Great play, taking him down behind the line of scrimmage. Man, he shot out of his stance like a cannon and exploded into the backfield. It's four down, and the field goal team is out to try this 44-yarder. He gets it up, and it sails through the upright. Pretty good kick right there, and it wasn't an easy one. They did everything right. A good snap, a good hole, and then a good kick. Sends it sailing downfield. Williams fields it in the end zone. The defense did a good job against him the last time they had the ball, forcing the punt. But remember, they had given up quite a few yards before forcing that punt. They might not be so lucky this time. First and ten. We'll ball start the 15. drive at the 15-yard line. First and ten. Ace backfield. Bridge hands it off, makes a move. Lee with the tackle at the 25. He picked up big yardage on that run. Oh, this is great blocking up front. Nice job of holding on to their blocks, allowing him to break through for some big yards. First We've got a first and ten. The defense comes out in the dime package. Bridge. Drops to throw. He decides to run with it. Tackle at the 32-yard line. Number 19 on the carry. Seven-yard gain on the play. From their own 32-yard line. Ball on the 32-yard line. Second down and three to go. Nebraska goes with the ace set here. He delivers. And he's got him on the fly. The defense was coming with heat on that play. Yep, but the offensive line did a good job of picking up their assignments, and that gave the quarterback enough time to throw a nice pass to pick up the first down. First, first down, 10 to go. On the 45 on the own 45. Yeah. Nebraska comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. him in the backfield. They sure shut down the halfback on that play. Boy, they were in the backfield in a hurry. The back just had no space to run the football. Second down. They'll bring in their dime package. Bridge drops back to pass. Surveys the field. He throws right, and he's got him on the run. So they go to the air and they pick up yet another first down. They've shown no problems moving the ball on this drive. This offense is moving the ball very well. And they're building some beautiful momentum along the way. First, first ten. down, 10 yards ball to go. Ball yard on the 44-yard line. line. The Huskers come out in a bunch formation. It's on the ground. They'll bring him down at the 45-yard line. And that is not what they needed. They already needed a couple of scores to get back in this. Now a turnover? What else could go wrong? The offense will start at the 45. The Wildcats line up with three wide. Malone, the ball carrier. Carter tackles him at the 48-yard line. Malone gains around three yards on the run. Second, second down and seven. seven to go. Ball, ball, ball on the 48. 48. Yard line. They'll work from the shotgun. Heron back to throw. He takes off. And he's tackled at the 42. 
And it's plays just like that one that make him such a nightmare for defense. Well, that's why he is so tough to defend. You've got everybody covered downfield, and he just takes off with all that speed. First and 10. Ball on the 42. First and 10. Ball on the 42-yard line. And straight ahead we go with the fullback. Gaither brings him down at the 36-yard line. The fullback bangs it in there for a gain of six. Second and four. Ball on the 36. With the tackle at the 36. No gain. Third Here's third down. Four, four yards to go. Ball on the 36-yard line. line. The Wildcats come out in a shotgun. Yeah. Option. He's going to air it long. Incomplete pass. And he let his receiver a little too much. One of the things you look for when you have a young quarterback is how he releases the football. Here you can see he releases the ball a little bit early, a sign that he wasn't completely comfortable with what he was seeing. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. They come out with three wide receivers. Look at the throw. Looks. Steps up. Heron lets it fly. Caught. And they push him out at the 25-yard line. The quarterback really took a shot after the play, and I'll bet that's what this flag is for. First of the Walking the pass. Well, the offense is helped out by that defensive penalty. You bet they are. That's an easy way to pick up yards. We've got a first and ten. They're threatening inside the 20. Northwestern in a five-wide set. Over the middle. This one is incomplete. That had six points written all over it. You're right. This is the play they like to run near the end zone. Here, the receiver just couldn't come up with the catch. Northwestern is one of the best teams in the country at getting points once they enter the red zone. You're absolutely right, my friend. This offense knows how to close the field and put points in the score. Tackle at the three. Third We've got one. third down and Ball one. On the Ball on the three. Shotgun formation. Let's see if they run the draw here. And they're in. Touchdown. Depending on what team you're rooting for here, you're either really excited or you're ready to hit the reset button. But I hope these guys aren't ready to throw in the towel just yet. We've got over three quarters of football yet to play. They need to come up with some big plays on both sides of the ball. Maybe a big kick return here. And that'll get them going and get them back into this game. Now they'll try to tack on the extra point. And he tacks on the extra point. So now there's just a few seconds left in the first quarter with a score. Northwestern, 24. Nebraska, nothing. Western, ready to kick this one off. Number 28. Excellent kick. Craig fields it in the end zone. 
Well, guys, their last drive ended on a fumbled ball. What do you think they can do to be more successful this time? Well, for one, they can hold on to the football. Turnovers absolutely kill the team's momentum. Yeah, I just think they have to be a little bit more careful with the ball. The defense will stack the line of scrimmage. He's tackled at the 18. Nothing gained on the play. It's been pretty lopsided here in the first quarter. The score is Northwestern 24, Nebraska nothing. From their own 18-yard line, on the 18 it's second and ten. Line. Nebraska goes with the ace set here. Throwing left, and that one's incomplete. He put a little something extra on that throw, and the receiver mishandled it. He needed oven mitts for that one because it was a hot tamale. Third down and ten coming up. Nebraska lines up in a bunch formation. Bridge, back to pass. He heaves it deep. He got it! And he's all the way down to the 38-yard line. That was a nice play. You know, we talk about this every week, adjusting to the blitz. The quarterback and the receiver do an excellent job of recognizing the blitz and adjusting to the play. Good-looking pass. First it's first and 10. And ten. Ball, Ball on the 38-yard line. Yard line. The defense lines up with six DBs. Bridge losses it right. Coleman takes him down for a loss. And stopped for a six-yard loss on the play. They line up at the 44. Ball on the second and long. Yard line. Patterson alone in the backfield. Yeah. Looks to pass. Over the middle. He makes a diving catch. What a catch as he was falling to the ground. He laid out his whole body, saw the ball fall right into his hands, and held on to it. Third They'll line it up six. again on third down. They come out with three wide receivers. Bridge, back to pass, throws. Oh, he got tattooed on that one. They picked up some yards, but it won't be enough to keep those chains moving. They went to the right guy, he just couldn't get away. It's four down, two. and the kicking team's on to try this 47-yard field goal. The kick is up, and it's through the uprights. Pretty good kick right there, and it wasn't an easy one. They did everything right. It was a good snap, a good hold, and then a good kick. Nebraska to kick. Lined up for the kickoff. Number 24, back deep to return. And it's off. Number 24 fields it at the seven. There's a player down. I'm not sure what happened. It looked like he took a pretty good shot on that play. I think he'll be up and running again in no time. They'll get the ball here at the 26-yard line. First and 10. Heron with three wide receivers. Heron delivers. Got it to the senior. 
The quarterback has rifled that one in there for a good game. Boy, he's throwing the football with some pop, isn't he, Coach? Hey, if he's not careful, he's going to break his receiver's fingers. It's first and, first ten. and ten. Ball on their own 44. Nebraska brings in their nickel package. Here's the draw. He tackles him for a loss. They came with a blitz that time and got the tailback for the loss. From their own 41 yard line. It's second down. Nickel defense. Back to pass. Mill tackles him for a loss on the play. Third it's third and 15. Ball on the 39-yard line. Malone is the single setback. Heron drops the throw. He steps up, lets it fly at the point, and they bring him down. He got it to the receiver in a hurry. That ball was out of line. The defense could knock it down because they couldn't see it. It was a laser beam. First down. Northwestern comes out in the shotgun. They'll throw on first down. It's tipped. And that was a good defensive play. Yeah, guys, this is because he's in great position to make the play. That'll bring up second down. Second, second down, 10, ten yards Ball to go. On the 36 Ball on the 36-yard line. line. Five wide. Aaron drops back to pass. Complete. Knocked out of bounds at the 29-yard line. That was a good completion there. Yeah, I really liked the good, clean routes they ran on that play. Third it's third three. down. Ball on the 29-yard line. They line up in a double tight set. Aaron will throw for it, throws it out there, and it's picked off. That INT puts him in a position to make this a game. Yeah, they really needed that. That's a huge boost to morale. You're right, Kirk. Now they got the big MO Mo on their side. They'll, They'll take set over up shot at the 20-yard line. line. First and 10. One man backfield. Juke move. And he takes a big hit at the 19. Look at that. The blitz just threw off their blocking assignments. And that's why this running back is looking for his mouthpiece right now. Second, Second down and 11 yards to the sticks. Jenkins is the deep back as they line up in the eye. Bridge steps back to pass. He spins, and he's stopped behind the line. They line up at the 17. It's third down and 13 to go. pass wants to go long and does he got it and they finally knock him out at the 48 yard line first from the 48 yard line all on the 48 yard line 
Patterson lines up in the deep back. Eye formation. They'll bring him down at the 47. Patterson gets about a yard on the play. That'll make it second down. Second, second and nine, nine coming up here. Ball on the 47 yard line. Yard. The Cornhuskers line up with three receivers bunched. They hand it off again. He gets pepper. Patterson gets three yards on the play. Third so another third six. down upcoming All for the offense. Nebraska lines up with three receivers. Let's it fly. And it's caught. Brought down at the 26-yard line. They pick up solid yardage there. Yeah, nice little pitch and catch there. The wideout was able to find a little open space in the defense. And the quarterback was able to get him the ball for a good pickup. Here's a look at the offensive production statistics. Brought to you by Coca-Cola. Steps up. He fires this one. And he brings it down. Talk about a throw. Does this kid have an arm or what? I'm telling you, this thing is like a laser beam coming out of his hand. Boy, you're right. What a cannon this young man's got. We'll see what First they can do in the red zone. Ball on the five-yard line. Bridge. Comes to the line with three wide. Bridge off the fake. And it's caught for the touchdown. My goodness, guys, that was a spectacular play by the wide receiver. The coach has gone to great lengths to shepherd his receivers, and we've seen the results on the field. Here's the try for the extra point. And he hits the PAT. The second quarter clock reads over nine minutes left here in the half. And our score is Northwestern 24, Nebraska 10. Nebraska is ready to kick it away. Decent kick. Malone fields it in the end zone. Great job by the defense last time forcing the kick. I wouldn't be surprised to see a few runs here by the offense to start things off. Let's take a look at the offensive production numbers. Brought to you by Coca-Cola. The Wildcats. Line up with three wide. He looks to throw on first down. Throw short. And this one falls incomplete. Carr was the intended receiver on that pass. That'll make it second down. Second From their own 26-yard line. On the second yard down. Line. The Wildcats have three receivers bunched. He drops back. Over the middle. Batted ball. Way to keep your head on a swivel, kid. That was a nice job of locating the football and knocking it down to prevent the completion. Sure was, coach. He put himself in great position to make a play. So that'll make it third, third down. And ten. It's ball third and on ten. On the 26-yard line. line. Northwestern in a four-wide set. Looks to pass. Steps up, down the middle, caught, and he's taken down at the 33-yard line. Number 24, he appears to have been injured on the play. Great. 
Fourth and three. Northwestern on the ready to put this one away. Craig is back deep to return. He punts it. Craig fields at the 29. Let's see if this defense has trouble defending the pass again here. If they do, my friend, look out. They're going to give up another touchdown in a hurry. First, First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 34-yard line. He's going to try to throw. The ball is tipped. So they try some trickery there, but the defense is all over it. Hey, hey how about the defense? They were not going to get fooled that time, sweetheart. Right. Second, Second and, and ten. ten. Ball on the 34. Yeah. Patterson is the deep back as they line up in the eye. Looks like he flinched down there on the line. Dead ball. Bolt start on the offense. Five yard penalty. Still he got confused down. on the snap count. Yeah, but that's just lack of concentration. They line up at the 29. Ball it's second and 15. Bridge steps back to pass. He looks, throws it to the outside. Tackle made at the 38. The defense looked a little lost on that one, Kirk. Yeah, they did, Brad. Nice recognition here by the quarterback to see that confusion and then take advantage of it. Third We've got a third and six. six. The Cornhuskers come out showing three wide. Looking. He's going left. Got it. Nice pass play. Good accuracy there by the quarterback and the receiver made a nice catch for a big game. I think the key also was the fact that the pass was thrown very hard. First it's first and ten. Ball on the 37 yard line. Lines up in the deep back. I formation. Tackled at the 27. That's a 10 yard gain. Second, Second down. down. the stop at the 23 yard line and a nice run by the tailback not a lot of razzle dazzle here but it gets the job done and picks up the first down first, first down 10, ten yards ball to go on the 20 ball on the 23 yard line, yard line. Patterson alone in the backfield bridge pitches out to the left a halfback couldn't get any running room. And that was because the defense had called a blitz just at the right time. He went right through the offensive line and nailed him for a loss. From the 26-yard line, second down, 13 yards to go. The Cornhuskers are lining up with three receivers. He catches another one. With that pass, they pick up another first down. And coach. You can feel the momentum building with each first down in this drive. Yep, this offense is in pretty good rhythm right now. The pressure turns up when in the red zone, and that's when you turn to Old Spice Red Zone, when performance matters most. Bridge, running the option. Touchdown, Nebraska! Boy, this kid knows how to run for the football, doesn't he? I think everybody knew it. This guy to beat him. Well, it's going to take more than X's and O's, Kirk, to stop this guy. They got to tackle him. Right, they line up for the extra point. Yeah. And he adds the extra point. 
Over six minutes remain here in the second quarter. To the score, Northwestern 24, Nebraska 17. Nebraska to kick. He kicks it off. Malone takes from the 10. There's an injured player on the field. Well, we know he wants to play, but that's not what you want to do when you're wobbling around. They'll, They'll take over the at the 27. At the 27-yard line. First and 10. They come out on an empty backfield. Back to pass. He's looking for his man, and that one's fallen incomplete. He led his wide receiver too far to the outside. Yeah, he just had to pull the string a little bit more there. Second so it's and second 10. and 10. Ball on the 27-yard line. Ace backfield, up the middle, and he's taken down at the 30. That's a three-yard pickup. Third and seven, ball on the 30-yard line. They'll work from the shotgun. Look at the throw. Aaron fires it right, and he brings it down. A decent gain on the pass. Yo, Kirk, good job by the quarterback here reading this play. Yeah, the defense came with a blitz, and you're right. Great job by this young quarterback of recognizing the coverage and spotting the open man. Here's a look at the offensive production statistics, brought to you by Coca-Cola. Going with the shotgun here. He drops back. Down the middle. Complete. Oh, man. What a catch. Wow. That was amazing. He just laid out for it and brought it in. From the 48-yard line. Ball on the second and two yards to go. Heron with four wide receivers. He unloads it. It's past the tackler. To the 20, to the 10. He's all the way. Touchdown. The halfback got his number call on the pass play and came through with a score. This is what separates good backs from great ones. You have to have the ability to contribute to the pass game. They'll line up for the point after. And he tacks on the extra point. And here's the Pontiac drive somewhere. Western is, is lining, lining up, up to kick this one off. Decent kick. Williams fields it at the two. Not a lot of trouble scoring the last time they had the ball. Let's see if that passing game does the trick again. Here are the offensive production stats brought to you today by Coca-Cola. The Huskers go with the I formation. Bridge, back to throw. Bridge, lets it fly. It's complete. 
and he's shoved out of bounds at the 35. He goes over 3,000 yards passing on the year with that last play, Kirk. You know, here's a guy that loves the game of football, and it shows. He's having a lot of fun out there, and it's translating into some pretty impressive numbers. First, it's ten. first down. Wilson tackles him behind the line for a loss on the play. Nice tackle to bring him down before he got back to the line of scrimmage. Solid effort there to break up that play. Second, Second down. down. Ball on the 34-yard line. Bridge. Hands off. Nothing going on that one. Third and 11. All on the 34 yard line. The Cornhuskers come out in the ace formation. Bridge drops to throw. And it's caught. And he's tackled. At the 40. He made the catch, but he didn't get the first down. Well, right now, the way this defense is swarming, there's just no room for him to get upfield for the first down. Fourth and five. The corner of the line of the one. Malone is back awaiting the punt. Punts the ball away. Malone fields it to 17. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. Seven yards. First down. Wildcats take over at the 24 yard line. First and 10. The Wildcats come out in a shotgun. Heron fumbles. And he tackles him hard at the 24 yard line. Nice time for a fumble recovery. What do you think, Lee? That's just what the doctor ordered. A turnover here could be a huge momentum swinger. They'll Excellent the field position to start the drive. First and 10. Bridge drops to throw. Catches it. Brought down at the 11-yard line. What a great play call there. They came right out of the gates and attacked the defense through the air on first down. Yeah, it was a really nice game on the pass. Let's see if they go back to the air again on the next play. Have a look at our Old Spice red zone numbers. Red zone, when performance matters most. Nebraska comes out with an eye formation. Brown with a takedown at the five. Patterson gets six yards on the carry. Five yards from a touchdown. The Huskers come to the line with their jumbo package. They're going to pitch it. Davis tackles him for a loss on the play. And that was not a good call offensively. Nah, not a good call, only because they lost yardage. I'll tell you, I've seen plays like this where the tailback breaks one and goes for a touchdown. You're right, Lee, you can never tell. Nebraska sets up in the eye. Bridge fakes a handoff. It falls incomplete. Nice play by the defense to bring up fourth down. The defender made a solid effort to get to the ball there. Nice stop. So it's fourth down. This one is from 24 yards out. He gets it up, and the field goal is good. That score leads us to our Pontiac drive summary.
The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Nebraska is lined up for the kickoff. He kicks it off. Malone takes it from the six. Broke away from one. Guys, their last possession, they really had good success passing the ball. Hey, if they asked me, I'd air it out some more. Lee, I agree. Make them show you that they can stop it before you change things up. The, the offense will take over, at, take the over at the 21 yard line. First and 10. The Wildcats set up in the gun. Here's the give. Samuel tackles him behind the line for a loss on the play. The lineman had a big push there to get in the backfield and bring him down. Great penetration in the backfield. For such a big guy, this guy's got some really quick feet. And once he gets moving, there's no stopping him. This guy is so big and Second strong and that he's almost impossible to block with one guy. The Cornhuskers line up in a nickelback, stepping up, and they got to him before he could get back to the line. Nebraska will take their first time out of the half. From their own 16-yard line, it's third and 15. Is an impact player, and on third and long, you better expect him to make a play. Nebraska takes a timeout. Looks like they're going to punt it away here. Craig, back deep to return. He gets it away. Craig fields it to 42. A good job on their last drive, getting three. Let's see if they can get some more on this drive. First down, 10 yards to go. The ball on the 40 yard line. First and 10. Nebraska comes out in the shotgun. Bridge, back to pass. Looking, long ball, right side. Williams just couldn't bring it in. Williams was the intended receiver on the play. That'll bring up second down. Second they line up at the 47. Second down. Ace backfield. Setting up play action. He throws, and it falls incomplete. They came with a blitz that time and forced the overthrow by the quarterback. Good defense there. From their own 47-yard line, it's third and 10. The Huskers line up with three receivers bunched. He's going right. Incomplete. Well, again, they can't hook up, and it'll bring up fourth down. Fourth and ten. The Cornhusker will line up the punt. Barry awaits the snap. He punts this one high in the air. Malone calls for the fair catch. Do you guys remember what this offense did the last time they had the ball? They had the ball before? Exactly. He threw it out so fast he had to ask for slow ball replay to recap. The offense will start at the 21. Aaron with a nice play fake. Throws it in and out of his hand. He might have been looking to run and didn't secure the ball. Well, sometimes you see young players do this. This is something they have to work very hard to be able to overcome. Second From their own 21-yard line, ball on the 21 it's second and line. 10. Northwestern sets up with four receivers. Heron drops back to pass. Incomplete, almost picked off. The defender could only get a hand on it. A hand on it? If this kid wants to be a big-time player, he better start getting two hands on it. Yeah, Lee, the ball should have been picked off. Right. Third, Third and ten. ten. They line up in the shotgun. Drops 
back to pass. Sheds that one. Looks like he's going to run. And down he goes at the 43-yard line. That is exactly why this kid is so tough to defend. You bet he is. He's faster than some of the receivers. Here are the offensive production stats brought to you today by Coca-Cola. Northwestern comes to the line with three wide. Got his man on the run. Northwestern will take a timeout, and they've got two remaining. First and ten. Ball on the 43-yard line. Northwestern lines up in a shotgun set. Aaron back to throw. He passes it. It's complete. And he's taken down at the 36-yard line. The Wildcats call for a timeout, and they'll have one timeout left. They line up at the 36. It's second and three. Northwestern comes to the line. Only one man in the backfield. Play action. Aaron unloads. And he's got him on the run. He's all the way down to the 10-yard line. And guys, you can just feel the momentum building with this drive. That's their third first down on this drive alone, Coach. Yep. We all know how important momentum is in college football. This defense really needs to step up and get some of it back. And a nice pickup through the air. I'll tell you what, fellas, I love this kid's throwing ability. He's got a quick release, and he's very accurate. Northwestern comes out of the shotgun. Throws! And this one falls incomplete. The receiver couldn't catch up to that ball. No, he couldn't. And I'll tell you what, the quarterback was conscious of the blitz that time by the defense. That may have been the reason that he overthrew the football. Third and The three. offense faces another oh, third oh, down oh, as they line it up. They set up in the shotgun here by the goal line. Keep an eye on the quarterback. I wouldn't be surprised to see a draw here. They sent the blitz and drilled the running back before he could find any daylight. So it's fourth down. He'll kick this from the 10-yard line. The Wildcats call a timeout, and now they got no timeouts left. So with the half ending, they're just going to try to put three points up on the board. The kick is up, and it's right down the middle. So we take a moment to check out the Pontiac Drive Summary. All lined up and ready for the kickoff. Number 28. He sends it off. Williams fields it at the two. Folks, let's pause now as we've reached the end of the first half. Our score at halftime. Northwestern 34. Nebraska 20. Northwestern North is lining up to get their second half started. Start the second half. He kicks it off. Williams from his own end zone. What is he doing? Come on, you've got to make someone miss. Yeah, that was not a very good return. They'll go.
go to work at the 15-yard line. The Huskers line up with three wide. Here's the halfback. He jukes him. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. And he couldn't go anywhere on that run. Nah, he couldn't go anywhere because there was no place for him to run. The defensive front got a good push and knocked that offensive line backwards. From their own 14-yard line, we've got a second and 11. The defense comes out in the dime package. He's looking to pass. The cavalry's coming. Weddell comes away with a sack. Situation here on third and long. Ball on the seven. The Cornhuskers come out in a bunch formation. Bridge set to go to the air. Throws to the middle. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. Well, that was an impressive stand by the defense. Three good defensive plays equals puck. Nice job, guys. The punt team is on the field looking to kick this one away. Malone will be the return man. He gets it away. Malone takes it at the 45. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. They're on the right side of the 50 as they start this drive. Heron lines up in the shotgun, slings it. The true freshman has it. They just took what the defense gave them on that play. Yeah, you're right. That was a good job of getting that pass completed for positive yardage. Second and four coming up here. Ball, Ball on the 38-yard line. line. Heron comes to the line with three wide. Gives to the tailback. Makes a move. The tackle made at the 34. Malone gets about four yards on the play. Third, Third and a foot. Ball on the 34. 34-yard line. Heron with three wide receivers. Tries to juke. Brought down at the 24. What do you have for us, Coach? I got rushing yards. 100 of them. That's what this player's done so far today. You know, Coach, that's not too bad, is it? You betcha. He's not done yet. First and ten. The Wildcats set up in the gun. Drops back to pass. He lets it go. Got it to him on the run. And down he goes at the six-yard line. The pass results in a first down. I'll tell you, great call by the coaches on first down. It stretches the defense when they're expecting the run, and then they end up with another first down. The pressure turns up when in the red zone, and that's when you turn to Old Spice Red Zone, when performance matters most. Northwestern comes to the line with three wide. Can't wrap him up. Bracy tackles him behind the line for a loss on the play. Defensive coordinator has a lot of confidence in his pass defense if he's releasing a safety to stop the run. Hey, Kirk, that leaves a big hole out there. But on plays when they run the ball, it works. Second From the eight-yard line, the eight -yard it's line. second down. The Wildcats line up with three wide. Goes to the end zone. Got his man. Touchdown. Another touchdown pass. That is number three. You know what? It takes a lot of courage to play quarterback at the college level. And with that touchdown pass, this kid's showing how courageous and confident he really is. They'll 
line up for the extra point here. And he adds the extra point. And here's the Pontiac drive somewhere. Williams from his own end zone. So the offense takes over. The last time they had the ball, they had a tough time getting anything going. First down, 10 yards to go. Bridge on first down with the throw. The senior makes the catch. Just a yard there. Second, Second and, and nine. nine. Ball on the 21. The Patterson lines run. up in the deep back. I formation. They hand it off. Great one. Tackle at the 24. Patterson gets three yards on the carry. That'll bring up third down. From their own 24-yard line. Third down. Patterson, the lone back. Up the middle. He jukes him. Missed tackle. Morris tackles him at the 34. And the delayed handoff works for a big game. Got to be happy with the effort there by your tailback. You are absolutely right. First they ten. line up at the 34. The 34 First down. Give it off here. Oh, man, did he take a hit. Kirk, how about that defensive end getting in there on that play? That is just a great play getting into the backfield. This guy is so quick that the ball carrier never had a chance. Second, Second down, 10, 10 yards ball to go. On ball on the 34-yard line. line. Bridge has four receivers lined up here. They go with a run. Good effort by the linebacker to come up and make the play. Third They'll line it up two. again on third down. Defense. Defense. Nebraska, in a four-wide set, surveys the field. He zips it out to the right. It's deflected. The defender had it and then dropped it. He just beat the ball to the receiver's hands on that play. Nice deflection. Yep, and now it's fourth down. Fourth and ten. The Cornhuskers oh, are lining up the punt and away. Malone is back deep to return. He punts it. Malone takes it to 25. Well covered by the kicking team. He didn't go anywhere. What I like about this play is that the guys stayed in their lanes and didn't allow the big play. They'll take over at the 28-yard line. First and 10. The Wildcats line up with five receivers. Aaron steps back to pass. Throws it out there. Finds the true freshman. So the defense kept everything in front of them on that play. They didn't pick up much on that play, but if they keep dumping it off like that, the safeties are going to have to creep up. When you force the safeties to play shallow, it opens up a whole other passing game. 
That's when you hit them with the home run from their own 31 yard line. Second and seven coming up here. Northwestern comes out in the shotgun. Drops back to pass. Throws. Way to look it in. Seven yard play. Third from their own 38-yard line. Third down. Yeah. Hot, hot, hot. On to the right. Can he get to the sticks? Not much going on that drive. Nothing at all. But you got to give the defense credit. They really stepped it up. Fourth and four. And they're ready to punt this one away. Craig, the return man. He gets it away. Craig fields at the 29. The offense comes back down the field, hoping to build off their last drive. They had something going, but were unable to get in the Go to work at the 30. The Cornhuskers line up with a single set backfield. Let's it fly. Over through his intended target. We talked about this before, how pressure causes the quarterback to hurry his passes. Here he felt the blitz coming and got rid of the ball a little too quickly. Second and 10. They line up at the 30. On the 30 it's second line. down. They line up in the shotgun. Look at the throw. Throwing left. And that one's incomplete. Nice job getting a hand on that one. Yeah, really good heads up play there to get a hand on the football by the defense. Third it's third down. Ball on the 30 yard line. Defense! Defense! Northwestern lines up in a dime defense here. Bridge. Steps back to pass. Throws. He has him on the fly. You've got something for us there, Lee? Yes, I do. That catch, guys, takes him over 1,000 yards this year. That's a bunch of yards, you guys. First it's down. first down. Ball on the 31-yard line. Bridge with three wide receivers. No one open, so he's going to run. Fumble! Picks up the loose ball. What a play. The linebacker comes up with a fumble. That was a nice play. Couldn't have done better myself, you guys. The offense will take over at the 16. The offense lines up with three wide receivers. Across the middle, and it's incomplete. He had to get rid of that one in a hurry. The defensive coordinator cooked up a good blitz package that time, and although it didn't result in a sack, it forced a bad throw. Second, Second down and 10 to Ball go. The 16 Ball on the 16. Line. The Wildcats are lining up with three receivers. He drops back, steps up, he throws it, caught, and they push him out at the 18-yard line. They didn't get much on that pass. You know, this defense is too quick for plays like that to work. You got to mix them up a little. Third and eight. Ball on the 18. The Wildcats line up with four wideouts. He steps up. There he goes. And he's taken down at the 22. Three, maybe four yards on the scramble. Fourth and four. They come out in a punt formation. 
Powers is waiting for the snap. He gets it off. Craig fields it at the 37. And now we'll see the offense come out onto the field for their next possession. First down. Take over at the 42-yard line. First and 10. The Huskers go with the eye formation. Bridge with a nice play fake. It falls incomplete. Peterson was the intended target on the play. So that'll make it second down. From their own 42-yard line. On the 42 so it's second line. and 10. Nebraska comes out with an eye formation. Bridge still has it. It's deflected. And this one falls incomplete. Well, the defender was all over him on that play. Here's the call by the referee. Pass interference on the defense. 15 yard penalty, first down. That was a good call. The defender was all over him. Sometimes holding up a defender is better than letting him go for a big game, or even worse, a touchdown. First they line ten. up at the 43. On the 40 it's first yard. down. Yeah. He's tackled at the 37. Patterson gains around six yards on the run. From the 37-yard line. Ball on the it's second down. Seven four to go. Ah. Northwestern comes out defensively with six defensive backs. He flings it right. Griffin brings him down at the 15-yard line. This is a simple case of finding the hole in the zone. The quarterback did a good job of recognizing the coverage and then found his man. Yep. Give the receiver some credit, too. He got open, then made a nice catch for the first down. The pressure turns up when in the red zone, and that's when you turn to Old Spice Red Zone, when performance matters most. The Cornhuskers line up in an eye formation. Bridge pitches out to the left. And he's tackled at the five. They'll grab 10 yards there. Second it's second and inches. inches. Ball on the five. The Husker go with the eye formation. The ball came free. Scooped up by the defense. And this could be a big return at the 40. Across midfield. At the 40. At the 30. To the 20. To the 10. Touchdown, Wildcats. And that is not what they had in mind. It was simply a bad play. Turnovers are bad on all, but when you add the fact that it result in points for the opposition, uh-oh, that will kill you every time. So the kicker's on the field to attempt the extra point. He makes the PAT. So with just over six minutes remaining in the third quarter, our score is Northwestern 48, Nebraska 20. Northwestern, Northwestern is ready to kick it away. Decent kick. Williams fields it in the end zone. The last time they had the ball, they gave it away on the fumble. The old ball coach was not too happy about that either. I'd hate to see that if it happens again. They'll start this drive at the 20-yard line. At the 20-yard line. First and 10. 
Gives it up the gut. Little shake and bake move. And he's taken down at the 25. They get about five yards from the halfback. Second, Second and five nine. coming up here. Ball, ball, ball on the 25-yard line. line. The Huskers come out in the ace formation. Bridge fakes a handoff. He'll take it himself. Manning tackles him at the 36. So that one goes for a decent game. And guys, his running ability sure makes him hard to stop. No doubt about it, Brad. Whenever you have a fast quarterback like this guy, it just adds another element to your offense. Let's take a look at the offensive production numbers. Brought to you by Coke. They're in the eye. Another run. And down he goes at the 42. Patterson gains around six yards on the run. They line up at the 42. Ball on the second and two yard line. The halfback with a carry. Duke move. Brought down at the 44 yard line. And that one goes for a big, big first down. You know, every time you run the ball successfully like that, that defense starts to creep up a little bit. That's when you go to the air, my friend. Over the top. First they line 10. up at the 44. Ball on the 44 first down. Line. Northwestern lines up in a dime defense here. He jukes. Weddle brings him down at the 42-yard line. Patterson comes away with two yards on the carry. That's second down and eight to go. Ball, Ball on the 42-yard line. line. The Huskers line up with a single set back to it. And he's tackled at the 40-yard line. Patterson gains about two yards on the run. Third, Third down and six. six yards to go. Ball on the 40-yard line. Nebraska lines up for the shotgun set. Pittman tackles him for a loss on the play. Kirk, they really had nothing going on that run. I'll tell you what, Brad, it's almost like he ran into a brick wall on that play. Fourth and seven. The punter comes on the field, getting ready to send one off. Lee is back awaiting the punt. He punts this one high in the air. Lee signals for a fair catch. Nail down the punt at the 10. This defense did a good job on the last series. They forced the offense to go three plays and out. And now they're looking to build off of that and shut them down again right here. They'll, They'll get the ball the here at the 10 at yard, the line. yard line. First and 10. Northwestern in a four wide set. Heron hands off. Gaither tackles him at the 14 yard line. Malone picks up about four yards on the play. Second it's second down. Six. Ball on the 14-yard line. The Wildcats come out showing three wide. Heron with the draw play. He breaks it. Carter with the tackle at the 23. What do you think of this guy, Lee? Brad, this kid can play on my team any day, and I'll tell you why. He's almost guaranteed 100 yards rushing every time out. First and 10. First and 10. Ball on the 23-yard line. Northwestern comes out in the shotgun. Moves up in the pocket. Chucks it deep down the right side. And it's going the other way. And I don't think they'll be picking on him anymore. That was his second interception of the ball game. If there were any doubts coming into this game whether or not this guy could defend those receivers, he's pretty much answered those questions.
But we'll Nebraska see if they can capitalize on the good field position. Line. First and ten. Bridge on play action. They can't connect. Incomplete. He overthrew his tight end. I know the tight end has a little more height than the wideouts, but give me a break. Second, Second and ten. ten. They line Ball up on the 50-yard line. Patterson, alone in the backfield, drops back to pass. He's going to take off. Lee tackles him in the 45. On the run, five-yard gain on the play. Third it's and third five. down. Set up in the gun. Looks. Waits till the last moment. That's incomplete. Not a pretty pass right there. No, it wasn't, Kirk. That was not a good pass at all. But hey, in his defense, he had to get it off to avoid the sack. Fourth and five. Looks like they're going to punt it away here. Barry awaits the snap. Hangs it up high. Lee calls for the fair catch. And he muffed it. He let that one get away from him. And Brad, any time a player muffs a return like that, it sticks around in the back of his mind. You need to just forget about it and move on. First and, First and ten. ten. Ball They're in the, the red zone. Yard line. Northwestern comes out defensively with six defensive backs. Patterson picks up two yards with a carry. And we take a quick look at the stats from within the red zone, brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone, when performance matters most. Patterson, again, he jukes. What a collision! A one-yard gain by the halfback. Third down and seven. Jenkins lines up as a single back. Bridge drops back to pass. He keeps it. Tackle made at the eight. And he tucked that one in for about five yards. They'll line up for the field goal. And this is nothing more than a chip shot. This will be a 25-yarder. He gets it up. And he's got it. And now we'll take a look at the Pontiac Drive Summary. Nebraska gets set to kick this one away. He kicks it. Brown takes it from the six. The offense comes out to start this drive, and they're hoping for a better result as they threw a pick on their last possession. Here's the offensive production statistics, sponsored by Coca-Cola. They line up in the shotgun. Aaron back to throw. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. Second, Second down. The Wildcats line up with Trips right. Looks to pass. He unloads it. Complete. He's out of bounds at the 20. Loss of three. Third, 
third from their own 20-yard line. Third down. Northwestern lines up in a bunch formation. As we go to the final quarter of play, this one is almost wrapped up. Our score here, Northwestern 48, Nebraska 23. Third it's third long. down. The Wildcats come out in a shotgun. Heron drops back to pass. He's going to take off. And he's taken down at the 33. Well, they didn't get the first down, but it was still a pretty good run by the quarterback. He made a good decision to take off there. Hey, some quarterbacks would have tried to throw the football into coverage, but he did the right thing. Just run it. Fourth and seven. They line up to put this one away. Three-yard line. Craig, back deep to return. Powers punts it, and this one is a skyrocket. Craig takes it to 20. The offense goes back out onto the field after picking up a field goal on their last drive. This drive will start at 29 First and 10. Toss. They'll get him for a loss. The toss play wasn't working there. Loss of about two. It's second down and 12 to go. Second and 12. Nebraska lines up in a double tight set. Peterson on the give. And he's tackled at the 34. And the fullback busts through for about seven yards. They line up at the 34. Ball the third and five situation. They come out in a nickel. Fakes to the back. He delivers. And it's incomplete. Three plays and no first down, and now it's decision time for this offense. Well, the defense did what they had to do so far. They're showing a lot of heart out there. Fourth and five. The punt team is on the field looking to kick this one away. Malone is back deep to return. He punts it. Malone, field to 29. Well, the offense couldn't get anything going on their last drive. Let's see if they can do a little bit better here. The offense will start at the 31-yard line. First and 10. Northwestern lines up in a shotgun set. Aaron to the air on first down. He's going to take off. Second, Second and down nine. and nine to go. Ball on the, Ball 30 the 32 yard line. line. And they have three bunch. Steps up with the throw. Catches it with the spin. There he goes. And he's finally knocked out of bounds at the 36. As if things haven't been bad enough. Yep, this is pretty much like adding salt to the wound. But we've seen this all game. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 36-yard line. The Cornhuskers line up with six defensive backs. It's intercepted. And credit the safety with that last interception. He knew exactly where the quarterback was going with the football. It's not always about athletic ability. You've got to be a smart player and know what's going on out there. And that comes from breaking down film of the opposing offense and paying attention all week in practice. This safety was ready for today's game. But the They'll start at the 33-yard line. At the 33-yard line. First and 10. The defense lines up with five defensive backs. 
Bridge. Set to go to the air. He snags it. Tackle at the 35-yard line. Two-yard pickup. Second, Second down, down, eight yards to go. Ball on the 35-yard line. Bridge comes to the line with three wide. Bridge steps back to pass. Looking, he's going left. And he brings it down. He did a good job of catching that in bounds, Kirk. Yeah, the receiver did all the work on that play. He made a great adjustment to the ball and dragged his feet to keep them in bounds. First it's first and ten. Ball on the 45-yard line. Bridge pitches it out. They'll bring him down at the 38-yard line. And there's a penalty on the play. Let's see who it's on. Holding on the offense. Ten-yard penalty. Still beep, beep, beep. Uh, Scooter, what are you doing? Kirk, my friend, that's the sound of the offense going in reverse. First, First and long. long. Ball on the 45. 45-yard line. Nebraska lines up in a bunch formation. Broke away from one. And down he goes at the 50-yard line. Patterson gains about five yards on the run. Second, Second down, 15. 15 to go. Ball on the 50. Patterson is the single setback. He drops back. Surveys the field. Throwing left. And he's tackled right away. Nice little pattern there. Yeah, he had great position there. And that ball was thrown in the right spot. Third and Here's eight. third and eight. Ball on the ball 40 40 yard line. Again, defense hasn't stopped him yet. Finds a man again. The 10. Touchdown, Cornhuskers. They hooked up for the big play. The coaches do a good job of getting this receiver the ball. They design plays specifically for him, like the one we just saw. And the end results are huge chunks of yardage and touchdowns. Here's the try for the extra point. And he converts the extra point. Fourth quarter and more than 11 minutes left. And our score is Northwestern 48, Nebraska 30. Nebraska is lining up to kick this one off. He kicks it off. Brown fields it at the nine. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. Let's take a look at the offensive production numbers brought to you by Coke. They line up in the shotgun. Direct snap. He sheds it. And he's tackled at the 30 yard line. That's a good nine yard gain. Second it's and second one. and one. Ball, Ball on their own 30, 30 yard line. Heron lines up in the shotgun. And the snap goes to the back. Sussman 
with the tackle at the 44-yard line. Time and time again, you see the team that's winning is usually the team that's able to control the line of scrimmage. Here, they again get a nice push, and the result was a solid run. We've got a first and 10. Ball on their own 44. First and 10. Ball on the 44-yard line. The Wildcats come out going three wide. Malone gets another carry. Takes off a tackle. Sussman brings him down at the 39. And they move the chains once again. And that's what they need. Move the chains and keep the other team from getting their hands on the football. First down, 10 to go. First and 10. Ball on the 39. Ball on the 39-yard line. Northwestern lines up in the shotgun set. There's a missed tackle, and they make the stop at the 38-yard line. The running back picks up a yard on the counter. Second they line up at the 38. Ball on Second the 38 down. Yard line. the tackle at the 24 yard line. How about the job of this offensive line, guys? Boy, the hog mollies up front are demoralizing the defense. It's tough when you're tired. You're losing. You're being dominated physically. I don't know how long they can keep this up. They line up at the 24. First down. They'll throw on first down. He throws it, and it falls incomplete. Wilson was the intended receiver on the play, so that'll make it second down. Second it's second ten. down. Ball on the 24-yard line. Northwestern comes out with five receivers. He drops back, steps up, throwing right, and that one's incomplete. Overthrown, intended for the wideout. Third it's third and, and ten. ten. Ball, Ball on the 24-yard line. Yard line. Yeah. Heron is back in the gun. Heron options out. Looks. He passes it. Oh, great catch. Wow, how about that third down conversion? Boy, what a play here, guys. I'm really impressed with the poise of this young quarterback. He was very cool and collected out there on that third and long play. The pressure turns up when in the red zone, and that's when you turn to Old Spice Red Zone, when performance matters most. Northwestern lines up in a shotgun set. Looks. He's going right. He's got it. Touchdown. And he comes up with his second touchdown catch of the game right there. Kirk, this kid is tough to stop. Yeah, you're right, Coach. You try to keep tabs on him, but eventually he's going to find a way to get open. I think you need a double team. Up. So they're ready for the extra point. Hits the PAT. And now we're going to take a look at the Pontiac Drive Silver. Western is to kick Craig and William set to return. Decent kick. Craig fields at the goal line. There's a flag down, and it looks like this one's coming back. Clipping on the receiving team. That's frustrating for a coach when you preach fundamentals every week and then have someone called for clipping. That penalty really is going to set They'll them back. The drive. They'll take over the nine-yard line. First and ten. 
Drops back on first down. He's going right. And he's got him on the fly. And he's all the way down to the 41. That's the arm strength we've been talking about all week, guys. Yeah, and we get a chance to see it again here. Wow, what a flip. First, First down, 10 yards ball to go. Ball in the yard, 41. Yeah. Nebraska comes out with two tight ends. Bridge pitches out to the left. And the halfback toss gets maybe three yards. From their own 44 yard line. In second and seven. And seven. The Huskers set up in the gun. Up the middle. A little juke. Tackle made at the 46-yard line. Gains about two yards on the run. So that'll make it third down. From their own 46-yard line. On the third and five. Line. The Corn Huskers line up in an I formation. Bridge still has it. Throws it. And he's got him on the run. The defense came with a blitz that time. Yeah, but when you blitz a quarterback that is smart as this guy, you got to blitz him late. And you got to change your defense late. Right, Kirk? That's exactly right. Let's see if they begin to pick up what we're seeing here. Just a little bit of a cat and mouse game out there. First they line ten. up at the 29. Ball on the 29 it's first down. Bridge drops back on first down. It's tipped. Poor decision to throw it into such tight coverage. Second so it's and second ten. and 10. Ball, Ball on the 29. 29 yard line. Nebraska lines up for the shotgun set. Bridge. Option. Left side. And he's tackled in the open field. They go with the option and pick up the first down. That was just good instinct. You have to know when to pitch it or when to keep it. Yeah, and in that situation, the quarterback knew he could pick up the first, so he kept it himself. Very good decision. Have a look at our Old Spice red zone numbers. Red zone, when performance matters most. The defense looks confident as they held him to a field goal on their last red zone trip. He'll get the throw again. And he's taken down at the 13-yard line. And the halfback's got nowhere to go. Second, Second and nine. nine. This is the eighth All play of this drive. Nebraska goes with the ace set here. Collision. The D lineman wasn't letting anyone buy him that time. Yeah, the big fella did a heck of a job plugging up the hole where that play was supposed to go. That guy's so big, Kirk, he doesn't plug up holes. He plugs up the whole line down there. Yo. Third the offense down. faces another third down as they line it up. Patterson, the lone back. Bridge. Let's it go. Now that's the way to get in there and break up a pass. And more importantly, Coach, it brings up a fourth down situation. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. is the single setback. Bridge has his work cut out for him here. It's tipped. No choice there but to go for it, Coach. I tell you, even though this one is basically over, this defense isn't going to let up or relax at all. I like to see that from a team. It shows good discipline. The, the offense will take over, at the, take over at the 13. At the 13-yard line. First and 10. 
Northwestern comes to the line with three wide. Sheds that one, and he's tackled at the 19-yard line. About six yards on the play. Second, Second down. down. Northwestern goes with the ace set here. Malone on the handoff. Brib brings him down at the 27. And remember one thing that this coach said. They will force it down this defense's throat until they prove that they can stop it. First and 10. Ball on their own 27. Wilson lines up in the deep back. Eye formation. Heron passes. He gets hit out of bounds at the 36. Good pickup on that pass play to the fullback. Look at the soft hands in that big fella. Throw it to him again. Second, Second and one. short. Ball on the 36-yard line. Heron comes to the line with three wide. He goes downtown. He got it. And he's all the way down to the 19. That was a pretty impressive play. Yep, but we've seen this all game long, Kurt. There's still no excuse for this defense to get shut down. I mean, you'd think that they'd work a little bit harder to stop the offense when they're losing this bat. And we take a quick look at the stats from within the red zone, brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone, when performance matters most. Northwestern in a four-wide set, back to pass. Across the middle, it's complete. He's tackled at the 14. Kirk, what do you have? Well, as you can see, this guy's been a big playmaker all game long. In fact, with that last grab, he just went over 200 yards receiving. From the 14-yard line. Second down. Nebraska lines up in a dime defense here. The defense jumped, but I think a lineman moved first. Outside, home defense. Five yard penalty, first down. First, it's first and goal. They're inside the 20. Aaron hasn't missed yet. He's looking for his man. It's tipped. Boy, that was a good defensive effort there. The ball was there, but the defender beat the receiver to it. Nice play. So that'll make it second down. Ball inside the 10-yard line. The nine -yard it's second line. and goal. From the gun. Looks to pass. Throws. It falls incomplete. Can you blame the receiver for dropping that ball? Nah, but you can blame the quarterback for putting in a spot for him to get hit like that. On the stat sheet, that'll be a drop, but there should be an asterisk next to that one because he took a pretty big hit. They Third line up at the nine. Ball. Third nine down, a goal to go. They line up in the shotgun. Drops back to pass. Looking. Looks to the end zone. Gray with the interception. So the defense makes a great play in the end zone and comes away with a pick. And that, my friends, is how you play defense. You make the quarterback think he's got six, then you step in front of the ball and just take it away from him. They'll, They'll take set over up shot at the 20-yard line. First, First and 10. Nebraska comes out with an eye formation. Inside handoff. And he hits him hard at the 20-yard line. And he took a shot on that play, Brad. It looks like his head might be still ringing a little bit.
second, second and ten. ten. Ball on the 20 yard line. The Huskers come out in a shotgun. Give to the tailback. Tackle made at the 21. So at the most, he gains a few inches. Third they line up at the 21. It's third down. Nebraska goes with the ace set here. Throws it out there. Wilson with a takedown at the 27. Well, he got the face mask. The question is if it's one of the five or 15 yard variety. Personal foul, face mask on the defense. 15 yards on the spot of the foul. So they'll move him back after the penalty. I bet that one has the fans steaming. Well, that wasn't a very bright play by that young man. You can bet that the fans aren't the only ones unhappy. His coaches don't look too happy either. Ball on their own, 42 yard, yard line. It's first down. Nebraska comes out with an eye formation. They go with a run. Tackle at the 46 yard line. And he goes over the century mark with that run, guys. You know, Brad, he's had a great day, but credit the offensive line for fine blocking all game long. They line up at the 46. Ball on the second down. Yard line. The Huskers line up with three receivers bunched. Patterson gets it on a pitch. That was well defended by this defense. Hey, that linebacker made a nice play. But what about all those big guys up front on the defensive line? They're good too, boy. Well, they created the play this time, Coach. The offensive line is so concerned with their penetrating abilities that these linebackers are able to roam free and make plays like that. The Cornhuskers come out in the shotgun. Bridge delivers. Incomplete pass. Yo, you can credit that incompletion to the pass rush. Great job of not letting the quarterback get comfortable back there. He didn't throw a good pass at all. Well, heck, Kirk, he was under pressure. Unbelievable pressure. Fourth and six. It's fourth oh, down now. Fourth we'll see the punt run. team. Barry is waiting for the snap. He gets it away. Malone takes from the 10. He couldn't make anything happen on that punt return. Yeah, well, there wasn't much he could do in a situation like that. There were just too many tacklers around him. They'll start this drive at the nine. They come out with four wideouts. Heron hands off. And he's level at the 13. Malone picks up about four yards on the play. So that'll make it second down. Second, Second down and six. And six. Ball on the 13-yard line. The Wildcats set up in the gun. Malone gets another carry. And they make the stop at the 32-yard line. I think this offensive line is getting better and better as the game goes along. And coach, I'll tell you what, I think they're killing the will of this defense. And I don't think they're done just yet. Here's the offensive production statistics, sponsored by Coca-Cola. They come out in a goal line set. at the 36-yard line. A four-yard pickup by the fullback. Second it's second and six. six. Ball, Ball on the 36-yard line. Yeah. Heron has four receivers lined up here. yard line. Malone gets three yards on the carry. Three. 
And it looks like we've got our Coca-Cola players of the game. Very well played game by these gentlemen. They're packed in tight on the line. to 42. Nebraska just took their first time out. Fourth and Looks inches. like they're going to put it away here. Yard line. Powers awaits the snap. Powers punts it and he really got a leg into this one. Craig takes it to 14. <laughs> He almost broke it there. Like you said, Coach, one more block, and that could have been six. They'll get the ball here at the 24. Start the drive at the 24-yard line. First and 10. One formation. Patterson gets a pick. Wilson hits him in the backfield. The Cornhuskers are going to take a timeout. That was their second timeout. So it's second and 14. Ball on the 20-yard line. Patterson, the lone back. Weddell brings him down for a loss. Two-yard loss for the halfback. Third and long. Ball in their own 18. And that's the end of the game. Kirk, any final thoughts here? Well, I'm shocked by the final score. I expected this to be a close game. Nebraska got absolutely crushed today in this football game. I hope they can put this one past them because sometimes it's difficult for a program to bounce back after an embarrassing loss like that. Well, it's been a pleasure bringing you this game. Again, our final score, Northwestern 55, Nebraska 30. This is Brad Nessler with Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreet saying thanks and so long.